A ball is dropped from rest and falls towards the ground. Drop from rest is an important clue. Air resistance is negligible. Which graph shows the variation with speed of the height above the ground? So you can imagine a ball is up here and the ground is here. And you drop it. And you are at a certain height above ground wherever you are. So this is height. So when it's graph question, step one. Think about two points, the beginning and the end, the initial and the final. At the beginning, from rest means no speed. And how high is this thing? Highest it can be. So at maximum height, so number one, at max height, h, speed should be zero. It's not moving. I mean, you drop it from rest. So let's look at the graphs. Mm, when height is the largest, like this is okay. This part's okay. This one is wrong. Why? Zero height, zero speed. Something's wrong there. The height is up there, okay. Height is down there, nope. So you can really eliminate two graphs from this idea. And I guess, I mean, from there you can already know, okay. When you're at ground level, when H is zero, speed should be pretty big. Which satisfies A and, a and C. So the question is, is it straight line or is it curve? Step two, once you have points, like, you know, the initial, the final, step two is what is the trend? Is it going to be a curve? Is it going to be a straight line? How do we know? Is there a way to know what's the relationship between height and speed? Is it a linear relationship? Here's what we can do. Height is also known as vertical displacement. So, is there a way to relate vertical displacement with speed? Final speed, I guess you say. Speed? Vertical speed? Is there a way to relate V and S? Why did I write V squared there? Hmm. I gave you a hint already. <laughs> so, we know the equation V squared equals to U squared plus 2AS. We're going to use this to help us know the relationship between speed and displacement. So, U is 0. I mean, you drop from rest. So, it's just V squared against 2AS. And here, you can see there's a relationship. S is H. Oh, I should say H. Okay, shh. H. So H is going to be uh, the y-axis. That will be V squared over 2A. So the relationship is H is proportional to V squared. <gasps> I see. So it's not a linear relationship. You see a square there? You see this square? This square will tell you that it's not a straight line. So nope. Non-linear. It's a quadratic relationship, which is this one. Now, if you're wondering, mm, Miss, V squared should be increasing. Ma. Yes, yes. But we define our height as decreasing, so it's upside down, kind of like this. Okay, so I just added the negative sign to adjust to our conventions. So the answer is C. This is the steps how you can think through graphs and make sure you know, firstly, what are the start and end points. Secondly, is it curved? Is it straight? This is how you can tell it. Okay, next question.